Hi there and welcome back to my channel. This is Sean, the Honest Book Reviewer, with another book review. In this video we're discussing X, written by Sue Grafton. It's book 24 in the Kinsey Malone series. This book is a mixed bag for me. It returns the book to being mainly Kinsey's point of view, which I love. So I do like this series when it's Kinsey's point of view in the books. That's my personal bias. Only the first couple of pages are not in her point of view. And to be honest, do we need that first couple of pages? It added nothing to the whole book overall. Bit of a waste, I think. Anyway, the mystery is okay. The book itself is a bit disjointed at times. I don't think it's a book to introduce new readers to the series. There are just things going on in this book. Too many references to past books in the series as well. So if you want to start this series, go back to A's Rallaby and start from there. I think you'll enjoy the first few books in the series more than this book anyway. I get the impression the first few pages of this book is meant to be a hook. Hook the reader into the story. It didn't work for me. It felt out of place. It's not Kinsey's point of view. Nothing there to really hook me with that character described in those first couple of pages. So just remove it, I think. It had no reason being there. The rest of the book is Kinsey's point of view, so all is right with the world again. We have Kinsey telling the story to us, no other characters interrupting that flow. It's all about Kinsey and how she sees things playing out in this book. We have three mysteries in this book Kinsey's working on, and it felt like one mystery too many. So first off, we have the search for a missing son. Then we have Kinsey helping Ruthie with a potential IRS order, trying to find old paperwork in her husband's old boxes, and boxes that are linked to a company Kinsey used to work for when she was starting out in the PI business. The last mystery is all about water conservation, water saving. Seems like Henry's water use is going up. Even though he's not using much water, it keeps going up, and he's worried about that. So we have big chunks of storyline about that. I don't know why we had big chunks of storyline about water saving and water use. It just feels a bit useless to me in the story. There are so many descriptive scenes about water conservation, and unless you're interested in water conservation to a very detailed degree, it makes for very boring reading, I think, in this book. It just drags the whole pace of the whole plot down. It pulls you out of the whole mystery because it doesn't relate to anything else going on in the story. In fact, the mysteries themselves are all disjointed. They don't relate to each other. And in previous books in this series, if we have a couple of different investigations or storylines going on, they merge somewhere. But in this book, it doesn't. I guess in one way, it kind of feels more lifelike because not all the time storylines should merge. Life doesn't work like that. You know, Kinsey would work on different cases and they would emerge in real life. So in that way, I guess it works. But for a flowing book, it feels very disjointed. But the thing with the IRS searching for paperwork to help her friend Ruthie, that opens up a bigger mystery. And I like this mystery, as the mystery hooked me into the story. The reason I like it so much, one of the reasons I like it so much, is because there's a secret code involved. Kinsey finds a piece of paper with a secret code. They've got to crack it. And they eventually do crack that code, and it leads to something bigger. I'm not going to tell you everything that happens in that storyline, but so engaging. I love anything with codes and secret maps and clues you got to work out and puzzles. I like that in stories. And I like that in this book. There seems to be an overall theme in this book, and it's don't judge a book by its cover, or don't judge someone you might meet or come across too quickly. That seems to be the theme in every storyline in this book. And sometimes it's Kinsey making assumptions about people and she realises she's wrong. Sometimes it's other people making assumptions about other people and they're wrong. But it just seems like every main thread in this storyline, in this book, is all about that. You think something about somebody because of their age or their gender or what they've done in their past, what you think they've done, but you're wrong. For the book overall, the whole IRS leading on to the bigger mystery and it leads on to a quite a dangerous mystery that was very engaging and the best thing about this book. Other things going on in this book I don't think need to be there. There's some things going on that just felt too irreverent. It made me think about Janet Ivanovich's Stephanie Plum series. Virtually every book in that series has things going on that just don't feel lifelike at all, don't make sense, and things that go on and you just 
roll your eyes sometimes because they're just too out there. And it just felt like Sue Crafton was almost crafting this book to have that kind of feel. That disappointed me when I read this. The characters in this book are well written. It's one of the best things about this book, that and the dialogue, both very well written. Sue Crafton can write great characters, so even though some of the mystery, some of the plot may not be that good, the characters usually shine through and kind of sometimes carry the torch for the book. And in this book, the characters are great. Ruthie we met in the previous book in this series, and she's the widow of somebody Kinsey used to work with many years ago in her history. I like her as a character. She's very frustrating, irritating for Kinsey, I think, in this book especially. Ruthie's developed more in this story, and I think because of those interactions with Kinsey, where Kinsey gets frustrated, it makes Ruthie more engaging in this book. Ruthie is very witty, a bit cynical, a bit sarcastic, very strong. I love those interactions, the dialogue between them both in this book. I do like Ruthie as a character, and I just wish that Ruthie was earlier on in this series and then developed into a regular character for many more books, because I think she would have made a great regular character in this series. I have to mention April in this video because we met April in a previous book, and she is now living with Henry, Kinsey's landlord. I think she's still living with Henry in this book. She stands out because she irritates Kinsey. It's another character that stands out for that reason, but she's also quite annoying. And I don't like her as a character. She's well created and well written, but she's just so irritating and annoying. And for me, she just feels very devious. It just feels like she would lie and cheat and swindle to get her own way. I get that impression with this character. So a character that's not very endearing to readers, I think, but a character that stands out because she's so irritating for other characters in this book. Jonah is a character that's come back in this book, and we had him in previous books in this series where he played a bigger role. He's come back for a minor role in this book. At this stage, I'm not sure why he's back. He hasn't changed very much. So Jonah and Kinsey had a bit of a fling early on in this series, but he has a marriage that's very unusual. His wife keeps running off, coming back, running off, coming back, you know, and I think his wife even had a child by another guy, and he just seems to be happy to be married to her still at this stage because he just thinks he wants his kids to have a stable home. Whatever that means in his mind, with his wife going off and coming back all the time. As characters go, he was a good character earlier on in the series. I'm not sure he's a great character in this book, though. He just feels like he's got no growth, no development, very stagnant. And it makes me wonder about what Sue Crafton is trying to do with this character in this series. Not the best book in this series for me, but a strong book. 3.5 out of 5. I enjoyed the big mystery, the one that starts with the IRS that leads to secret codes and a bigger dangerous mystery. I enjoyed that because it just opens up a bigger villain for Kinsey and opens up a bit of a cliffhanger at the end of the story as well. So I enjoyed that part of the story. Other parts of the story that Kinsey was involved in, other mysteries, not so good for me. On my channel, I review many mysteries. If you enjoy mysteries, check out my channel and subscribe. On the screen now is a link to a video for a book I'm sure you'll enjoy.